So I made a little headway today with the uh, doors situation. Each room, you know, supporting some doors. Uh, originally, I was going to have like a bare minimum of uh, doors, a minimum of four per ship, so they could house uh, the essentials of any ship, but then I realized that that was just a big pain in the ass, so I went against it. So instead, what we have is uh, each room randomly generates uh, up to two doors, and then they'll uh, generate a location alongside this whole thing from the uh, uh, previous random number generator that I had. But if you'll notice, each room has different different doors and stuff. We're just going to kind of go th through the entire corridor and see how many doors it does. Uh, so far, the downside to this is there are too many doors, it seems. And then sometimes, yeah, that'll happen where the door in another room will be in the exact same position as the door in a previous room, which, as you'll see once we go back, this one, yeah, remains in its location. They all remain in their location. And, uh, which is good. I just need to figure if I want to uh, fix the whole doors appearing in the exact same location as doors in other rooms. It kind of can be justified with the whole... I mean, it's a ship, so some parts of it might be uniform, uh, but it's inconsistent. And I don't really... Uh, I don't know if I care for it too much. But, uh, yeah. And the doors seem to be generating, and if we can... Uh, well, let's go back to the airlock and reset it. Do, 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 do. Still, I like the I like the uh, animation of these doors so far. Oh wait, I keep playing. We want to restart. So we restart, do a new ship, similar size, but the doors should be different. So smaller ship. We only got two two hallways. So we'll check this place. We got no doors. That might be another thing. There is a chance that it will generate absolutely no doors, and in another instance, will generate nothing but doors. So I got to figure out a way to regulate that. Yeah, see, it doesn't have any doors in this one. So that's uh, damn it. Keep doing that. That's got to be fixed somehow. There has to be some doors, at least a few. Do, 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 do. So this one, same size. Let's see if it will generate the same thing. Closes, and this one has a door. So it's just that kind of stuff. And maybe, I don't know, I, I want to make the doors just because it'll take you into rooms that you can explore and actually have a reason to be there. Yeah, and then that shows up same same location, which... Got to, uh, got to adjust that as well for your, somehow. Maybe, I want to say it's, it'll probably be something like if the, uh, if it's in the same position as the room before it, I'll just adjust it or just reset the, the, uh, random thing just so alternating rooms can have the same location of the door. But, uh, adjacent rooms will have different, so it'll look like, It'll kind of shake things up and won't look like same repeating room. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I'm pretty uh, pretty thrilled that this is actually kind of working. Uh, just from fiddling around with arrays and uh, trying to figure out how it will work. The next step will be uh, to have the doors lead somewhere, because as of right now, they don't do anything. And uh, once I get that solved, and once I uh, figure out a good number to have, like a minimum amount of doors and a maximum amount of doors. I don't want I don't want every single hallway to just be littered with doors because then it's just gonna lead you to a plethora of rooms. Some of them, you know, I want to have nothing in there. So I'm thinking maybe adjust the uh, random numbers because as of right now the random number to determine how many doors are there is 0, 1, and 2. If it's 0, it's, there's no doors. If it's 1, it's one, of the, one door on either side. It, it'll uh, flip a coin on that as well, and if it's two, it just gives gives you both doors, a north and a south door. And uh, I want to figure out a way to adjust that so there aren't as many. This this actually uh, this ship is kind of decent uh, so far. There's been a room without any doors, and it's just it's just random. It's a random number that I have to kind of keep control of. And then yeah, see, I don't know why it likes to do that all the time, but it's. Uh, 
it's too common to be so random, so I gotta figure out a way to fix that, which shouldn't be too bad. And then, yeah, and then you reach the cockpit, which I still haven't drawn yet. <laughs> it's still just another corridor. And then you go back, and then it's, uh, all of them retain their location, which, I mean, the, uh, the same location per doors aside, the, the fact that each room is maintaining the door's locations and memorizing each, uh, uh, each room's how many doors there are and where they were, I'm, uh, real happy with that. That's, that's some progress that I can work with, and, uh, I can work on, uh, controlling the number of doors and that kind of thing. Because, again, the next step is going to be, I can't decide if I want to make each door lead to a, just a roll of the dice kind of room, or, a actually have it have the the bare minimum whatever I said they were earlier bathroom mess hall barracks engine room and then have a bunch of randoms after that or if I want to actually just do them all random and just kind of have this all these rooms because they'll have because uh, each one I'm gonna I'm gonna have to add to this code a lot more because each of these corridors is gonna have different doodads that show kind of broken parts and stuff because as of right now what we're looking at is the the cleanest and like neatest because the ship looks brand new and it's going to be they're all going to be abandoned ships from an old war so parts of these ships are going to be missing and so uh, it's a a matter of uh trying to figure that out how to get i mean basically how to get all the uh bells and whistles to make it look more damaged is just going to be a bunch of objects that overlay pipes and stuff. Similar with what I did with uh, the north door, if you'll notice. it's uh, It always breaks the pipes and the, the wires to make room for the door, which, let's see if we can, yeah, right here. This is just, I mean, there's no transparency here. It's just I drew little closing sections to make the pipes look like they're going under and around everything, so it looks like a door is there to make room. But it's really, that's just, I'm just going to do that, but with everything. And just, like, break some stuff. Some stuff, the downside with that is, uh, I can't, anything in between here and here, like any pipes, can't really mess with, because this is taking up the space. There's never going to be any way to know where it's going to be. I mean, there's some way of knowing, I guess. It's, the point is, I'm not going to mess too much with this area. In fact, I might actually uh, make different door decals to make these pipes right here, like, bent. Or just bend the sides here, I don't know. Getting ahead of myself. As of right now, big milestone with these doors. Uh, actually retaining their location and not crashing the game every time I try to run it. So I'm happy with that. And, uh, Next step, I think, is to make uh, make it able to go into some rooms. And maybe, actually, I might skip that for now. Or skip that. I might take a break from that and actually just draw some rooms. So I actually have something pretty to look at, such as uh, such as the corridor and the airlock. But really, the airlock is just a uh, mashed-down version of the uh, corridor with, some, uh, with the pipes readjusted so it looks like they're uh, going downward somewhere. Same with the vent too. We notice. I mean, it's just it's just a squished, and then I added orange here to make it look like the uh, uh, docking umbilical cord thing, whatever spaceships have that stretches out and connects to the landing dock or the uh, airlock. So yeah, I haven't really. There's technically only been one room that I worked on diligently so far. So I should go back into that and work on that. And also up here, you can see that the uh, vent kind of goes down the way into a little pseudo 3D world. I kind of want something at the very end of it every once in a while to kind of run by like a, a rat or like an alien or something. I think that would be pretty funny. But uh, that's all That's all future stuff. Until then, I'm going to work on, uh, work on some of these new rooms. So that's all.